Aloha, good morning, everyone. I'm Shosh, the president and the CEO of NTT Telecommunication. I'm grateful and honored for this opportunity uh, to talk on the vision and the business strategy of NTT Group. I'd like to start my session with talking about two of the biggest worldwide sports events of the last year and this year. Last year, the Rugby World Cup was successfully held in Japan. I'm very pleased that uh, the event was, had attracted the rugby fan in the world. And also, many people had great experiences at their visit to Japan. It was truly happy and uh, honored that Japan had taken an important role as the host country. In the photo on the left side, uh, you can see I exchanged the national judges of Japan and South Africa. The gentleman beside myself is Mr. Jason Goodall from South Africa. He is CEO of NTT Limited, that is our uh, sister company. Our teams were played in the quarterfinal and South Africa won. They won all the following games and finally South Africa got the World Cup at the end. We host the game in Japan and Jason's team became a champion. As you know, that was great for NTT. And now the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and the Paralympic Games, which is long awaited for us, will be held in Japan this summer. It is the fourth Olympic Games to be held in Japan. Let me briefly look back on the Japan's history of telecommunications comparing to the Olympic Games held in Japan. The first Tokyo Olympics was in 1964. It was a 10-year-old boy. I, I was a 10-year-old boy and in the fifth grade of elementary school. We, we experienced various uh, technological innovations for the Olympics. The bullet train, the Shinkansen, for example, was launched in that year. In the telecommunications field, TPC-1 was laid as the first trans-Pacific submarine cable systems, marking the first step of international telecommunications. TPC-1 officially launched four months before the opening ceremony of the Olympics. A commemorative talk over, the, over this cable system was between U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson and Japanese Prime Minister Hayato Ikeda. Its sound quality was equivalent to that of local call. The second event was the Sapporo Winter Olympic Games in 1972, when uh, Apollo 17 landed on the moon. We saw a, a tremendous leap in science and technologies uh, while uh, telephones became a major means in the telecommunications world. The number of telephone subscribers in Japan exceeded 20 million and the uh, household penetration rate was about 30%. It was only later in the 1980s uh, that fixed phone began to be installed in common household. Third was the Nagano Winter Olympic and uh, Paralympic Games in 1998. I worked for it on site as an employee of NTT. In the early days of the internet, the number of internet users in Japan reached 15 million, and the individual penetration rate was about 10%. On the other hand, the ownership ratio of cell, cell, phone, cell phone was around 30% in 1998, when NTT released this watch phone 
20 years earlier than the Apple Watch in part. <laughs> For the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and uh, Paralympic Games, uh, we look forward to welcoming people from all over the world with our hospitality again. In addition to sports event, there is lots of entertainment in Japan. For example, the Super Mario Zone, a new attraction featuring one of the most popular video games, will open in the Universal Studio in Japan. 5G services will be commercially available in Japan, and the 5G-related new features attract great attention. So we are extremely excited to build a, a legacy in the history of telecommunications. By the way, uh, Millennium Baby is born two years after the Nagano Winter Olympic and the Paralympic Games, so it will be 20 years old this year. For those born in 2000, Facebook launched at the age of four. YouTube at five. Twitter at six. And iPhone at seven years old. They grew up with a bare variety of digital services and devices emerging one after another. As these data natives are increasing, we can assume new business models will be also created. So let me move on to the next topic, our every, everyday efforts uh, for communications infrastructure. We focus on not just innovation of telecommunication, but also improvement of the safety and security in daily communications. This shows our global IP network. Uh, there was a big earthquake, earthquake in Japan on March 11, 2011. This earthquake caused four of the five main submarine cable systems between Japan and the U.S. to be disconnected. We managed to maintain communication traffic with the one remaining cable system, enabling a Twitter or a Facebook users in Japan to share various information. Based on our experience on this huge disaster, we deployed a cable range ship named Kizuna and unmanned uh, diving robots to further strengthen our recovery capabilities for submarine cable system. Recognizing the necessity to maintain and secure electronic power by ourselves, NTT Group planned to invest about 5.5 billion US dollars over the next six years to deploy an independent power supply network. We supply power not only for networks and data centers that send and store customers' important data in case of emergency, but also for hospitals, factories, public facilities, and electric vehicles. We also plan to launch power generation and the retail business using green renewable energy. With these initiatives, we aim to complement the existing power supply system to secure stable energy for local society and communities. We consistently make every effort to improve the safety and the security of uh, telecommunications infrastructure. So, Let's think about our future world. What sort of global communication would you envision in the future? NTT Group aims to create a smart world where various social challenges can be solved and sustainable growth of companies and societies can be achieved. We announced a vision for the future communications infrastructure called I own in June uh, 2019, last year. I own stands for uh, Innovate Optical Wireless Network. Let me show you the future of I own. I own is made up of three technologies. The first is an all photonics network. This network technology are enabled by using photonic networks and devices 
on an end-to-end -end basis, uh, causing the shift from electronics to photonic. It has the future of low consumption, large capacity, and low delay. And each of them can improve the present network by about 100 times in achieving large capacity, low latency, and low power consumption. The second is data twin computing. This is a technology that uh, reproduces the real world object and the human replicas in cyberspace. So uh, it can be possible to predict a future failure and uh, change in the real world. The third is cognitive foundation. Cognitive foundation is a mechanism that uh, can uh, centrally implement construction, configuration, management, and operation, including not only cloud and network services, but also user ICT resources. With this mechanism, it is possible to quickly deploy the, and optimize ICT resources. But what can we achieve with ION? Let me give you two use cases. The first use case is now uh, ultra reality viewing. With our ultra reality viewing, ultra high definition video and realistic sound can be transmitted to reproduce the entirety of the stadium, enabling viewers to feel as if they are in the stadium. If we can also reproduce a sense of touch in synchronized with uh, sight and hearing, viewers can feel as if they catch the wind brought by a player lining in front of them. They can also feel the cheers echoing in the stadium as sound pressure to their whole body. In other words, we can offer a new viewing style that appeal to the sense of touch as, we, as well as with sight and hearing. This techn technology will uh, uh, dramatically change the way to watch sports, uh, taking us into the another uh, dimension. The second use case is optimization of energy distribution on a global scale. The left graph shows future growth in the data volume. The amount of data was two zettabytes in uh, 2010. It's expected to be 175 zettabytes in 2025. As the amount of data increases, the power also increases. The light graph shows the power consumption by the IT devices. This is also expected to increase from 61 billion kilowatts in 2010 to 240 billion kilowatts in 2025, and 550 billion kilowatts in 2050. I own. I own will solve the problem. The old photonics networks can reduce power consumption and digital twin can optimize energy distribution. With digital twin computing, we can simulate the required energy due to change in the climate, temperature, population, etc. It may be possible to make uh, optimal energy distribution on a global scale and reduce greenhouse gases. We will conti contribute to achieve the United Nations SDGs, such as affordable and clean energy, and climate action. Last, let me talk about our business strategy. NTT Group reorganized the corporate structure to strengthen its global business last year by integrating the business and the services of about 28 group uh, companies NCT Limited was established as a cutting-edge global ICT service organization. 
NTT Limited is designed to provide high value added services to their client by uh, consolidating their affiliate of NTT Com and the Dimension Data Group outside Japan, as well as uh, NTT Security. NTT Com and NTT Limited will work together uh, under the concept of one entity to contribute to our client business growth and realization of smart world.